Uh, magandang maharap po. Uh, magandang araw po sa inyo lahat at upon your record si Freddy in YouTube channel at Pilipinos America Vlog in YouTube and please press the red button below so that you could subscribe to my channel and it's all free and I would and I will appreciate too much very much if you could share this video to your friends and benefactors and family circle including in your community where you are in right now or barangay there in the Philippines. And uh, also, I would appreciate much if you could give me a big likes and uh, make some comment, whether in English or Filipino. Okay? Um, ang topic ko po ngayon ay mga araw-araw na, na news dyan sa Pilipinas. We could deny that uh, the ongoing, uh, the, the recent uh, rally that was held uh, last Sunday there in the Philippines in Manila and also in Cebu City uh, were commemorating, commemorating the 38th anniversary of the people's power that shocked the world, called this... Uh, uprising by the Filipinos without a single uh, lives lost during those times in 1986. Yan po ay isang history na na celebrate and it was not a uh, declared holiday because it falls on Sunday. For whatever reason, wala po itong kinalaman sa politika. Okay? Ang nangyari ho dyan sa Pilipinas ay nagkaroon ng rally. O ng rally or I don't know what kind of rally is that. They say that it is a prayer rally there in Cebu. Sa Manila po ay ganun din. Ang nangyari sa Manila, only a handful came. The same in the past year na walang nangyari. Kasi during those times of the uh, Duterte administration, it is not also being celebrated. Although it is celebrated, but nobody came. Only a handful. And many times that it was uh, trying, the, trying to stop it, but they fail again. And here again, in, uh, in Cebu City, uh, pinilito ng mga, uh, ng mga pro-Duterte or pro-China, na mag-gawa uh, ng rally dyan sa Bakanteng Lote sa Cebu City but it looks like a failure too ah, nobody came meron din mga kasi ang projected nila is about 40,000 uh, people will will come at nag-hire pa nung, ano, yung mga motorcycle ano. tapos makikita sa video na binayaran nito kasi Pagkatapos ng pagkatapos ng mga video, ba'y nag-alisa na agad? Nag-alisa, nagkakumahog na umalis. Yan ay katunay na sila ay binayaran din. Na, sinacharge nila ang mga, uh, mga BBM na ganun din ang ginagawa. Mali po yun. Kaya, kaya makikita po natin ang, ang binabato nila sa Pangulong Bong, Marcos Sr. ay walang katuturan. Okay? At uh, nag, ang... At si dating uh, uh, Pangulo uh, uh, Duterte ay sabi niya ay sumasang-ayon siya sa People's Initiative and, Refe and uh, Change in, uh, in Constitution. Amending the Constitution only not to, do, not to the extent na ma-extend yung mga na terms at nakatulad ni Bombong Marcos, ating Pangulong Bombong Marcos, na mag-extend ng kanyang term sa office. Na wala naman po sinasabi ang ating Pangulo at wala siyang balak mag-extend. Ang kanyang ginagawa ay para lang uh, maging uh, matatag ang ekonomiya na bumaksako nung, ang kapanahonan ni Digong Duterte. Kasi dumistansya tayo sa Amerika. Minura niya ang Amerika from time to time. Hindi lang isang beses, hindi lang isang dosenang beses. Mingat niya. At hanggang ngayon, ginagawa pa rin niya. Ang paninira at pag-alipusta sa Amerika. 
contradicting to the uh, uh, policy of President Bongbo Marcos Jr. in which they signed a, an agreement, security and trade agreement. Kaya po umaangat ang ekonomiya ng Pilipinas ngayon. At gusto ng ating Pangulong Bongbong Marcos Jr. na maalis ang tingit, ang tinik para umangat ang ekonomiya by uh, making an amendment to the uh, economic hindrance sa constitution natin. Yung tinatawag na uh, economic freedom ng mga direct foreign investors that they could own uh, properties and they could manage and they could uh, put up their investment 100%. Wala ko yung mga kasosyo. Talagang sa kanila. At yan ay ginagawa rito sa Amerika. Ginagawa rito sa ibang bansa. Kaya umaangat tayo na lang ang nalilate. At hindi natin ginagawa yan. Aanihin nyo ang history. Kung baga mo ikaw ay nag-aaral, may back subject ka. History yun eh. Back subject na tapos na. Kaya nga baksak eh. Ngayon, ang ibig sabihin ba ng baksak eh, hindi ka na magtutuloy ng pag-aaral? Hindi mo na iintindihin kasi kailangan i-analyze mo kung bakit ka bumaksak. Ibig sabihin, hindi mo na tutuloy ang pangarap mo. Ba, kunyari, gusto mo maging abogado. Gusto mo maging, gusto mo maging engineer. You would like to be a nurse. You want to be a doctor. Of course, in all your, uh, in all your trainings and, um, and, um, and in all your subjects, uh, one or two or three, even a dozen times, uh, a dozen times of failures, but still you were able to reach your goal. That is to be a career man or woman. Like here in America, yung mga nurses ko dito, mer merong sampun taon na uh, kuha ng kuha ng, ano, ng, N ng NCLEX, N-C-L-E-X, hindi sila makapasa. Kaya nananatili silang, nananatili silang nursing assistant. But, meron akong isang kaibigan, 10 years na. Then, on the final take, Surprisingly, hindi, hindi na siya tinitingnan kung ano resulta ng uh, exam. Ininform siya ng licensure uh, exams uh, group or department here in America that she was successfully passed the NCLEX after 10 years. Just imagine that. And now she is a registered nurse. And much, much more better than those who have already practicing to be a nurse or now a nurse kasi experience na siya alam niya na kaya dito sa Amerika experience count most hindi yung scholastic tama po ba? dyan tinitingnan sa Pilipinas yung scholastic bawa bar top notcher if you are a bar top notcher top notcher and if you will be compare to the experienced lawyer, the experienced, I will choose the experienced lawyer than the bar top nature. Kasi yun lang, eh, sa written lang yan eh. But when it comes to practice, I rather choose the one most experienced. Like sa piloto, if you are a pilot, huh? and how many hours of flying hours do you have? Maybe 1,000 times, Better than a 20,000 times. I choose the 20,000 times. You want 20,000 times, is, misa na accident pa. Right? Kaya ang piloto, the, there must be a co-pilot. Kasi kung masira man yung isa, the other pilot could take over. Because ang lives ng mga passengers is, is at stake. We could not, uh, we could not uh, gamble the life of those uh, the passengers inside the plane. Tama po ba ako? Ganyan o. Kayo yung mga sadyante, kung kayo may baksak na subject, katulad ko nung araw. <laughs> Parati kasi ako lakpatsero eh. Ayan o. Na yung isa, naingit pa nga ako sa mga kasama ko. Ingit. Yan pa isa, yung ingit. Nasisiraan ako ng loob. Until such time that I was uh, uh, already in PLDT, the company gave me an opportunity. 
And I take it. And what happened? In my training, I tap the, ex the, the examination. Then it gave me a boost, self-confidence. Nagumpisa na ako. For 10 years, just a PLDT. Trained up to, out of 26 years. In my last part in PLDT, lahat yan naubos ko sa training and uh, seminars and workshop, planning session, ah, hanggang sa ang promotion ko ay inabot ako ng five times. The same here in, PL, in, in the United States. Sabi sa akin, eh, when, when nagpunta ako dito, eh, sabi sa akin, eh, uh, we don't give credit to your education and work experience there in the Philippines. You need to start, you need to restart again. Kaya ako yung okay, nag-aral. Then, my classmates were surprised and my professors are also surprised. Because yung tinuturo nila, alam ko na eh. I know everything. In deep, kasi pinractice ko niyan when I was still working in PLDT. So they are all surprised and they keep on asking me, who are you? I said, I'm only your student. So, yan po. Ganyan din po ang ating Presidente Bongbong Marcos Jr. Na minaltrato nyo, ah, kung ano-ano pinagsasabi nyo kasi nung alingan. But now, here he is, a good president in making the country great again. Right? Yan po ang ating Presidente Bongbong Marcos Jr. And I hope that you are, that you are going to uh, support the President because he's doing a great job for the country. Okay? At yung mga nag nung last Sunday, I'm sorry, but you really lost. Accept it. Lalo na po si Attorney Harry Roque. Naku! Naging uh, emotional during his uh, speech dyan sa Cebu City. Huh? Naging emotional. It should be a prayer rally. But what happened? Ang gumawa ng eksena ay si Attorney Harry Roque. Nakakaya naman, Attorney Roque. You should be professional kasi you are a lawyer by uh, practicing lawyer and consultant. And UP professor. Oh my God! You are a UP professor in law. Oh, what happened to you, Attorney Roque? Binaba mo ang iyong sarili. Binaba mo ang iyong sarili. For what reason? No other reason. I could see, I, I could not see any reason for you to do that in front of so many people there. Uh, you expected the 40,000, only 5,000 came according to, to the news of uh, uh, PTB, or UNTB. So... With that, uh, thank you. Uh, congratulations, uh, President Bambo Marcos Jr. Uh, we love the Filipino people loves you per SWS survey. And I do hope that you are going to continue the task. And I do hope that people, there are people in the Philippines will support the, uh, the, the proposed, the proposed uh, amendment in the Philippine Constitution, uh, removing uh, restriction. Uh, on foreign investors. Restriction on ownership. Dapat tanggalin na yan. At uh, let, the peop, let this, those foreign in, direct investors to have 100% ownership of a company or uh, 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 a, what they call this uh, uh, owner of a company that will provide, uh, uh, provide uh, employment, that will provide uh, economic prosperity to millions of people there in the Philippines and you could have more benefits arising from Medicare and other and other things that you are going to enjoy as Filipino there in the Philippines. Thank you very much. This is Rose. Freddie, in God we trust, never hold your peace. I'll see you in my next vlog.